Welcome to Data Demystified. I'm Jeff Gallick, and this is my series of tutorial videos on how to use SPSS to work with data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create dummy coded variables out of a multi-level categorical variable. As always, we'll be using the YouTube viewing habit survey that I created, and you could find both a link to the data file and a video tutorial of the data below. Often when conducting regression analysis, we need to use dummy codes to change categorical variables into something we can include in our analysis. Thankfully, since version 22 of SPSS, there's an automated tool for doing this, and I'll show you how that works. In this data set, if we go down to the very bottom, we see that we have a variable called PolID, which is the political orientation of the respondents. And this takes on five different values, which I can see by clicking these dots here. We have Republican, Democrat, Independent, Libertarian, and other. Now, I couldn't include this variable in a regression to predict something because this is categorical in nature as opposed to ordinal or linear in nature. And so I have to convert this into dummy codes. And the way I do that is quite simple. If I exit out of here, under transform, there's a dialog called create dummy variables. And when we pull that up, we see this window here. To create the dummy variables, the first thing we do is we find our variable in this list of variables. And that's gonna be all the way at the bottom for me under political ID, which is right here. We drag that over to create dummy variables for, and we do have to change a few of the options. First, we're gonna change this option right here to create dummies for all variables and not just the ones that have names. The reason is that in my data set, I have the variables coded as one, two, three, four, five. If I don't change this option, it won't know how to create dummy codes appropriately. What I want is separate dummy codes for every level of this variable. And then the next thing I have to do is create a root name. This is what it's going to name each of the variables, at least the first part of each of the variable names. And I'm actually just going to call it poll ID, just like my variable. So P-O-L-I-D. And that's actually it. That's all I have to do to create dummy variables in SPSS. I click OK. And what we'll see if I pop back to the data view is right here, we've got five different variables. Each one is named poll ID underscore some number, one, two, three, four, five, in this case for my five different levels. It's already labeled them appropriately. So we see that poll ID one corresponds to Republican, two Democrat, three independent, and so on. And if I click into one, I can see how they're coded. So whenever poll ID is equal to one, that in this case is going to co correspond to someone being a Republican. Whenever poll ID two is coded as one, that's gonna to correspond to the individual being a Democrat. In a future video, what I'll do is I'll show you how to use these dummy variables in a regression and specifically how to use them and interact with another variable to make predictions that are a bit more complex. And that's all there is to it to creating dummy variables in SPSS. That's it for this video. I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be sure to reply as quickly as I can. Aside from these tutorials, I'm on a mission to equip everyone with the information they need to thrive in our data rich world. If you'd like to learn not just the mechanics of analysis, which these video tutorials focus on, but also learn the intuition behind the analysis you're performing, I strongly suggest you check out the other intuition-focused videos on this channel where I take the jargon out of statistics and data science and help you build a deep, intuitive understanding behind all the analysis that you're performing. I'll put a link below to a playlist of the videos that focus on just this. Finally, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and click that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any new content that I put out. Thanks for watching.